praise God and welcome once again. The Lord has been good to you. I know healings are taking place. Please, the healing is not only laying of hands. It's not only that. You can worship God. You can praise God. And all these things are things. You can just be thinking about his goodness over your life. Look back. I keep on saying, I have a word. I, I, know I said, look, I may not be happy of where I find myself today. But I'm grateful to God that I am not where I used to be. I am grateful to God because I am not where I used to be. The Lord has been good to all of us, and I pray that he will grant us his grace. May we share a word of prayer. Father, lead us. Let your word have a place in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Living sacrifice through healing. Joel chapter 3, verse 10. C, let the weak say, I am strong. Let it be your confession. Let it be. Look, say it on your business. Say it on your children. Say it on everything around you. In our introduction, saying that learn to accept God's divine healing for your own benefit. The healing is all over the place. Just have to accept it. And God is going to do wonders in your life. Number one, the suffering of Jesus Christ has brought us both spiritual and physical healing we need. The suffering of Jesus Christ has brought us both spiritual and physical healing we need. So Isaiah 53 verse 5 verse 4 and 5 Behold Isaiah 53 Sorry, okay. Surely he has borne, he has borne our grief. He has carried our sorrow. Yet we did not esteem him strictly smitten of God and afraid. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we were healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And with his stripes we were healed. Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine? The suffering, why they were lashing Jesus Christ and blood was goozing out from his back. The Bible said, out of that, we receive our healing. So you see, the, the divine healing you need, it is not now that God is going to provide. He said, the day Christ were, was beaten and blood was goozing out of his back, that was the day you received that healing. It is left for you to enforce it by faith through declaration. And you begin to walk in that divine health. That is it. That is it. And God, God will continue to do wonders in our lives if we can act in that direction. Number two, God is always ready to heal you and to restore comfort and peace into your life. God is always, not sometimes, ready to heal you and restore and to restore comfort and peace into your life. Isaiah 57, verse 18 and 19. Isaiah 57, verse 18 and 19. I have seen his ways. I have healed him. I will lead him also and restore comfort unto him and to his mornings. And to his mourners, I create the fruit of the leaves. Peace, peace to him that is far off. And to him that is near, says the Lord, I will heal him. God is saying that. He's bringing healing to us. His healing is available to comfort us, to bring us peace. To God. And he said, I will heal you. You see, not that I will think about it. Not that I will look at it. Not that I'm going to measure it. He said, I will. I will. So God is ever ready. You think God is happy seeing his children? That, you see, sometimes God weeps because we are not acting on his way. Number three. Following the right standard of God's Fasting will definitely grant you 
the good health with reward. Following the right standard of God's fasting will definitely grant you good health with reward. Isaiah 58 verse 6 to 12. The people were doing, having some kind of fasting and yet it wasn't of God's standard. Things were not. So it tells you that we can fast and pray. If you don't put things right, we should forget it. We will not get results out of it. Look at it from the verse 6 to 12. And God is saying that it's not this fast that I have chosen to lose the bound of weaknesses, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. It is not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bringeth the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, that thou covered him. And that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Thy own flesh means that your family. Some of us, the moment we see a family member calling us, I'm not talking about those who are just want to want to take advantage of us. When we see, oh no, 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 this person, no. That's not the right thing to do. Then shall thy light break forth, my goodness, as the morning. And thy health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Oh, praise God. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then thou shalt call and I shall answer and thou shalt cry and he shall say, Here am I. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger and speaking vanity. If thou drawn out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy thy afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity. But in the midst of hardship, God will do wonders, and thy darkness shall be as noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and <laughs> satisfy thy soul in draught and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a water garden, and like a springs of water, which waters fill it not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old places, and thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breaches the restorer of the path to dwell in. Look at all this. The people were fasting and yet they were having problems. They were not talking to among themselves. They, they, they were fighting among themselves. They, they put people in jokes and bondage and others. God said, no, no, I'm not interested in that. But this is the kind of fasting I want. If you really want to gain health, restoration, reward, blessings, then this is my pattern. So anytime you want to fast, I want to encourage you to read a particular passage in Isaiah 57 verse, uh, Isaiah 58 verse. In fact, you can read the entire chapter and it will be a blessing to you. It will be a blessing to you. Number four, the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit of God releases divine healing. That changes people's state of life. The Spirit of God Releases divine healing that changes a person's state of life. In Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 4, the spirit of the spirit, <laughs> the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bound the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, to open of the prison to them that are bruised, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God 
to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise, the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called, they might be called tree of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former dissolution, and they shall repair the waste city, the dissolution of many generations. Yes, in fact, Isaiah said that this is what the Lord has. When you read the book, look account, they say, He has sent me to heal the broken heart. So, this is how it is. Until we understand these principles, God releases, and when the healing comes, it changes. Look at what we read. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. He gives you beauty for ashes, oil for joy in place of mourning. The garment of praise in place of the spirit of heaviness is what God is doing in our lives. Let me conclude by saying that healing is not only meant for your body, but also for your soul and spirit. Right now, your spirit needs healing, your soul needs healing. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to know Him. He's throwing this invitation. He said, Come unto me. He is a giver of rest. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Let me be a servant in my family. Use me to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. May I pray for you. Father, release your healing power in every aspect of our lives. Change our state of life. Bring grace to strengthen our heart. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Samuel Bissi. I want to thank God for your life. I want to encourage you, subscribe, share, and type the bell. And also want to encourage all those who have accepted Christ. If you're a Bible-believing church, just in your community, walk in there, tell the pastor you accepted Christ, you want to be part of God's family. And they are going to receive you into that family of God. And you are going to be blessed. I also want to thank our partners and, and say that we thank you so much. If you want to be part of it, the Momo Noma is on the screen there. Please, you are at liberty to do so. God bless you, and until we meet again, we say you are blessed beyond case. Amen.